Hi, a few months ago I did a video comparing Pultec EQs and many of you suggested that I also should include the analog obsession Rare SE, which is a free Pultec clone EQ. So let's do that. Analog Obsession is a plugin brand made by a Turkish guy called Ridvan Kuchuk, a name I probably slaughter the pronunciation of. Anyway, the plugins are free. I have made some videos about Analog Obsession before, and apparently people can't read. On top of the Patreon page of Analog Obsession, it, where you download the plugins, it also says that the plugins are free. You just go into the description of the plugin and you will find the download links. So you don't have to pay anything, but of course it's nice to support this guy so he can make more plugins, because the plugins are awesome. So support him for a couple of months or so, at least. The link to the Patreon page is of course in the description. Now let's look at the plugin we're gonna look at in this video, the Rare SE. Here is the Analog Obsession Rare SE. And as you can see, it looks like a Pultec EQ. We have boost attenuation and choice of frequencies for the low end. Boost bandwidth and frequencies for the high end. And also attenuation with the attenuation frequency select as any Pultec EQ has. But this plugin have a few more tricks. We can choose between stereo or MS. And if you want to solo the mid, you just click on the mid like that and solo the side you click on the right side there. We can link or unlink the left and right so we can do different adjustments on either side. Uh, we have an input and output knob and also four times over sampling by clicking on the logo. To be honest I don't hear much difference with the over sampling on or off on an EQ. Compressors and distortions of course but not on an EQ but it's good that it's there if you need it. Let's look at Plugin Doctor and see how the curve looks like when we have adjusted the EQ a bit. So here's the Plugin Doctor, and as you can see, with nothing adjusted on the plugin, the line isn't straight. So there's something going on already just turning on the plugin. I don't know why. And you can also see that in the harmonics, there's some overtones going on, and probably it is because of the emulation of the transformer and the tubes. And let's adjust this 60 hertz and boost 4 and attenuate 3. And now we have a broad boost in the low end, just like a Pultec EQ, all the way up to 500 hertz ish. ish. And then let's boost the highs to 6, bandwidth 7 at 10k. And now we have a 10 kilohertz boost. And also, you can see there's a low-pass filter right around Nyquist. Or should I say Nyquist, because it was a Swedish guy, so th the pronunciation should be Nyquist. Anyway, there's a low-pass filter, probably to get rid of aliasing. I don't know why. But let's compare this curve with another Pultec EQ. This is the UAD Pultec EQ P1A Legacy. So let's... And I've set the settings the same as on the rare SE and let's unmute it. Those two doesn't look the same, do they? Not at all the same. So there's some difference in the plugins. I don't know who emulates the hardware the most, which I don't care about really because I only care about if they sound good or not. Shall we listen? And of course it's the Roger That Song of 2021 we're gonna hear and it sounds like this without any EQ. And we're gonna hear the same few bars over and over again, which is totally boring, but that's the way we can compare the plugins, right? And I did the same settings on the plugins as I did in the plugin doctor. So I boosted four at 60 hertz, attenuated three, boosted six at 10 kilohertz with a bandwidth of seven and no attenuation in the high end. And now it sounds like this with the rare SE. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. 
exaggerated, I know, but that's so we can hear how the plugin sounds clearly. Let's just compare them and go for the next one, which is the Pultec uh, EQ1A from UAD. The only thing I know The third one is Waves Pube Tech EQP 1A, and it sounds like this. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. Everywhere. I and the last one I'm going to compare with today is the IK Multimedia TR5 EQP 1A, also Pube Tech style, of course. The only thing I know. Which sounded the best, in your opinion? This is, of course, a difficult way to compare plugins because they behave differently. Of course, you have to adjust the plugins individually according to how the plugin itself sounds. I've set them all the same now, but they sound totally different from each other. Maybe it's easier to compare if I play each plugin after each other, two bars each of every plugin, and listen to the quality of the plugin if the treble is too harsh, if the bass is too boomy or not boomy enough, if you have a transformer tube sound from the plugin or not. The only thing I know other brands that have good Pultec style EQ plugins, but these were the ones I had access to at the moment without asking for permission or licenses and all those things. The focus for me in this video is to compare a free plugin compared to more expensive branded plugins and see how it holds up. But do you really need a Pultec style EQ? Well, let's see. I tried to copy the Rare SC EQ curve with the Pro Q3 in Plugin Doctor. And then I just made a preset in the Pro Q3. So now we can compare those. Let's listen to the Rare SC first. It sounds like this. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. And close that and open the Pro Q3 where the EQ setting now looks like this. The only thing I know is that I don't know enough at all. It's close, but it's not the same, is it? For me, it sounds like the Pultec style, the Rare SE, is broader, wider, especially in the low end. The top end is gentle, lush, soft, even if you boost a lot. The Pro Q3's top end is actually pretty good. Many digital EQs gets a bit harsh in the top end. The Pro Q3 managed that quite well, but it's more surgical in the bottom end, more narrow, more precise, where the Pultec style is more clumsy, but in a good way clumsy. So what do I think? Can we compare this free plugin to bigger brands more expensive plugins? Yeah, I think we can. The top end is as lush or even lusher than other brands. It's really, really smooth. If you want something crispy, you can boost a lot of top end without it getting harsh. The low end sounds different from other plugins, but it still sounds good. It still sounds like a pull tech. From what I remember, the soft tube and my UAD have a bigger transformer sound, I think, than the rare SC. But that doesn't mean it's better. It means that they sound different. In my opinion, everyone should have this plugin in their toolbox. So go and download it. It's, it's free. But if you like it, please support Ridvan at Patreon for a couple of months or so at least. So he can make more plugins that we can enjoy. Now we have compared some plugins and compare in Swedish is jämföra. Jämföra. Until next time, Roger that.